This is Pixar's geek homage, you know? It's like the crew are geeks. We are lovingly referencing in every way possible every geek experience of our upbringing. If we go Jetson style and more flamboyant hairdos, they become more individual, which means we have to do many, many more hairstyles. This this thing we call the, uh, the Halo projector module. Yes, yeah, isn't that awesome? Should you want to, you could animate him like Fozzie Bear. People wear their geekdom as a badge of honor. It's like, the more geek points you have, like, that, that's respect around here. Some people are into monsters. I'm not really a monster guy. I'm more of a robot guy. I think anybody in this building that deludes themselves into thinking they're not a geek is deluding themselves. I can't tell you how much angst there's been on this film about what's right sci-fi-wise. Less Wrath of Khan, more Search for Spock. Like, that means something. Automatically know it, what that means. <laughs> it's just like, ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Speak no more. Okay, a little more subtle, less aggressive. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. We kind of have to be nerds in order to do this. It's, it's, uh, it's really cool to be working on robots, finally, and to be like, you know, hardcore robots. These aren't like cutesy toy robots. You know, they're robots blowing things up. The police department came by and they brought their bomb robot, which was totally fascinating. Because when you're working on a film, I think a lot of times there's this perception that, you, oh, we gotta go do research. And it's true, but for Wally, -E, since it takes place in space and they weren't gonna shell out the dough to get us on like a space shuttle, and I wanted to go to space camp, but that never worked out, this was the closest thing we could have to this great research trip. I can see you. Stop giving a thumbs up. <laughs> I got some money for you. You want a coffee? I will accept your donation. There you go. There you go. There you go. Andros thanks you. Hello. I am Andros. I require a beverage. Are you laughing at Andros or with Andros? Please explain. Then we had another uh, experience where we, this guy invented this amazing uh, chair. It's a wheelchair, but it has tank treads instead of, instead of wheels. It was a power chair. Come on, it was a power chair, not unlike the, uh, say, on the Starship Enterprise of Captain Kirk. I thought if Captain Kirk was a paraplegic, he would want a chair like that to get around in, and how would he sit on it? So he would be very manly about it, driving around on alien worlds. Let's hear it. Space for the final frontier. <laughs> the building is full of geeks. It's always so grueling to sit there with your shot <laughs> and show it in front of everybody. You know it's probably not working perfectly, and, it, and I'm going to sit there and give notes, and anybody else can give notes. Dodges the boot going past. It takes a lot of guts. So we thought we'd just make it even harder and, and funnier to uh, make a fear cam, which was literally a, a hard hat helmet that had a snorkel camera on it that could bend over and see your face. And it would be projected onto a monitor that would show your face for everybody else to see while your shot's up there. <laughs> just to make it that even more embarrassing. All right, here we go, Ron. I'm gonna judge your shot. <laughs> I can't look. I'm not gonna look. I gotta look in this work. The calls are coming from inside the house, Ken! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Raph, go into the atrium real quick and come back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it has that aliens feel yeah, like, yeah. they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> Game over, man. So much of this film is inventing a world. You're inventing a future world on Earth. You're inventing this world of this cruise ship. And then everything is in the future. And that's a lot of creating. Most people that deal with storytelling and filmmaking are what if kind of people. And, I, and for me, sci-fi is the ultimate what if. It was important that you be fairly dorky about sci-fi. It's all about every space movie ever imagined, and then every robot movie ever imagined, and then every sci-fi movie ever imagined. <laughs> you have a big, big bowl of geek.
Mm-hmm.